Okay, so boom, AG body. <laughs> you know if they pop off in here, you're gonna have to ride on your cousin, right? <laughs> One thing for sure, two things for certain. When you come to the penitentiary, I don't care who you is, I don't care who you know, I don't care how much street cred you got, I don't care how many people you know <laughs> turn into John with 2.0 on. I don't care how many people you know <laughs> Johnny Bravo, how many fights you want. Listen, you gonna get preyed on in the penitentiary. Soon as you hit the compound and come to general population, listen to me, and you can walk into that unit, it's going to be over 100 and something people in there, and I promise you, everybody that lay, lay eyes on you, they got some kind of angle and some kind of agenda to figure out what it is and what it is and what, what can and what can they not get from you. If you come in there and you got the bag, listen to me, you're going to have a whole bunch of friends. And 9 times out of 10, dudes who come in with the bag, get what? They go ahead and accept them friends because at the end of the day, get what? That money, <laughs> it ain't going to get you nowhere. It ain't going to get you too far in the penitentiary. You're going to do what you need to do. Or you're going to be way back in the back somewhere. You're going to be back yonder. Back there in PC. You can call home, tell your people, whatever, whatever. Listen, you're going to get prayed up on. And if you, you come in, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and you got a bunch of food, them folks going to pray on you. Go on and start going to the store every week soon as you get to the penitentiary. See, I mean, hey, 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 bud. Hey, what you doing, man? Uh, man, you think you can loan me a couple soups, man, to, to a store today? You know what I'm saying? I, 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 you can do two for one if you want to. Hey, 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 bro, what you got going on? Bro, I see you, boy. Boy, you stay going to the store, man. You know I ain't. I need a cup of cheese, man. You got a cheese bar, man. I can hold, man. Listen, they gon' they gon' come holler at you. Come in there, and off the top, you already want to get penitentiary free. You already done ordered your package, got your boots and all. Listen, they gon' think you got something. Get what they gon' do? They gon' pull up on you. They gon' be cool with you. And then listen, the worst. The worst thing you could do in the penitentiary when you come in, and that's this my personal opinion, is be too friendly. When you come in there, you being too friendly, you trying to be cool with everybody, trying to please with it, trying to please everybody. Listen, you you gonna get the worst end of the stick. I don't like I said, and I don't care who you are, you gonna get preyed upon. When I come to the penitentiary, as Boo Baker, cause that dude right there didn't go. I'm Joe Z. When you come come in, and boo, it don't matter how many licks I done hit, how many people I done, pop, pop, that, how many, it, it does not matter. Soon as I stepped in there, them folks prayed up on me. You know, you know what? The first thing, oh, that's Joe T. Son right there. My Joe T. My daddy done always had some kind of influence in every prison he went to. Everybody know him everywhere he go. He been gone twenty five plus. Don't matter where he go, they gonna know. And then he was the head of the folks at one point in time. And then soon as I come through the door, my daddy already got a move, even though they were getting ready to get shipped because it had got busted. But my daddy always had his hands in some, and he and he got some pull. Everywhere he go. So as soon as I come on the compound and I'm looking at everybody and everybody looking at me and, and all of us looking at each other, you know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something, because I'm street. I'm reading body language just like they reading body language. And guess what? Guess what? It's all it takes is this right here. Oh, that, that Joe T song. Joe, big Joe. Oh, that Joe T song. Oh, he look just like him. Then guess what? They gonna come pull up on him. Hey, what, man? Joe T, your daddy, man. Gotta be, man. When I seen you, when you walk through the door, pins and toes just like him. You come through, you come through that thing. Hey, watch it. Watch it how. Walking. What's up with you? Penitentiary rules in effect. Off the muscle. That's how I end up with the COS position. For everybody who's been in the comment, man, I want to hear the story about it. That's really how I ended up with it. I ain't had no business having no COS position. Get what that was. Hey, bro, bro, you know they done, they done got Joe T right now. To this. Man, what you, you, what you, you, you think he can handle the COS spot? Man, I don't know. You know his daddy used You know what I'm saying? If he anything like your daddy, yeah, 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 yeah. His daddy had, you know he, yeah, 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 yeah. So all of that intertwined. I'm going to go on and give him the COS spot. Pull up on him, train him, tell him this, tell him that, what he can do, what he can't do. Ain't nobody going to bother you. This, this and that. You know, and then he going to come with this right here. Yeah, you know I went on and pulled some strings. Which, you know I went on and pulled some strings, bro. You know, they, they were mad. They were mad. Talking about, talking about that's folkism. You know what I'm saying? Trying to say trying to say we being biased because of your daddy. Showing you favoritism and this and that. And I told him. I told him, G. On, on, on the ball. I told him, G. Man, I'm telling you, bro. bro I, I've been watching how bro move. You know what I'm saying? How bro carry himself. You know what I'm saying? Bro don't do no drugs and this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro can handle the COS in this part. Anyway, in this part. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody else qualified for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I told him, G. I told, I'm telling you, that, that's on the that's Oh, you know what I'm saying? They, and that, that's that. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, yeah. And you do, you doing a good job, bro. You doing a good job. They gonna hit you with the racks and everything the whole time. I'm being prayed up on so he can pull up. Hey, man, I ain't trying to get you beat enough over the. Man, when you wasn't, man, you know, man, let your ass get in or something, man. You know, I met with you. You know, I'm gonna pull for you. 
He, you you getting prayed upon. See, and it was his young brother who came in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Out the top. You 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 know who want to be what when they come in? Cause you you give them two three days and get what they gonna start hanging around what they want to be. The man come through the door. It, 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 let me say this real quick before I get into the story. It's a difference between a street dude and somebody who got in trouble in the streets. For some reason, people feel like because they got in trouble, they are considered street. No 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 no. Street dudes have a street mentality all the way through. It ain't just about crime and violence. People think they street because they because they done got in trouble and, and they a little violent. Your your mentality of how your survival tactics, your manipulative tactic, tactics, how you take advantage of situations, having the opportunistic, you know what I'm saying, mindset. It's certain things that you that you have to embody really when it comes to being a street cat. And so many people just got that misconstrued because they went and got some tattoo, got a gun, and, and got into a little situation that accidentally popped somebody in the hip. And then you come in and next thing you know, you know what I'm saying, you want to, what up, cuz? You want to come in rolling it and be the dudes and you think you're street and you don't have the street mentality and then you wonder why you jumped out in that water with them with them sharks and you got ate up because because you wasn't street but see that that's why you're gonna get preyed upon because they're gonna be able to see that that, that that you that you that you the yard they're gonna be able to see that you the yard you don't know what the yard is they let me know you don't understand the terminology you green yeah they and and they gonna get you so this little brother come in you know what i'm saying a couple days ago about get what he already sitting with the folks he working now with the folks. He only want to play on the team with the, the basketball team with the folks. So, but listen, he want to do everything with the guys. And see me, it, it's it, you got you got negative prey and you got a positive prey. Anytime this brother come around at time, because he got to go through a thirty day observation. And when you going through the thirty day observation, when it's about that time, that what they gonna start asking, brother? Man, what you think? What you think? What you think? You think you, you th what you think? And I didn't never see these folks turn nobody down. They knowing good and well, half of these folks that came in there and had no business, they just wanted the numbers. And nine times out of ten, they seen something that every individual seen something in you that they can get something from you. They probably see, uh, uh, they probably done been in your cell. You done showed them your pictures. They done seen you got some bad cousins and, and your sister knife. And next thing you know, man, go on, put one of them on my bitch. Hey, little G. Come on, bro. You already know what's up. Next thing you know, and, and if it ain't that, man, bro, you at VSV every weekend, bro. My, my girl can only get up here every week. She got to wait, you know what I'm saying, for her cousin and the driver to come to see. Dude, come and see her. Her, her dude down at the bottom of the hill, man, bro. What, what, what part of the ville you in, bro? What part, what part of Clarkville you in, bro? Bro, bro, how far you in from Pulaski, bro? Bro, 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 you, bro, you, bro, where you say you from? You close to Columbia, ain't you, bro? Bro, bro, oh, uh, bro, how far you in from Franklin, bro? Next thing you know it, man, bro, that's about 15, 20 minutes from my gal, you know, bro. You at VZ weekend, bro. You mad, you know what I'm saying? At least two times out of the month, you know what I'm saying? My gal. Bro, if it's cool, bro, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she'll give you a little petrol money, you know what I'm saying? If she got to, it, 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 it's something, it's something. Ma'am, do you, what you, what you got going on in the cell? They see, they know you got that tour. Man, bro, if you don't mind, can I get a couple minutes on the phone? Everybody got some reason of why they done gave you that vote. And, it, and, 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 and if people, they, they ain't going to, because some people might say, man, I don't know. They ain't just saying, no, I'm one of them. Man, I don't just necessarily know about that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because... I was one of them who came in and understood why y'all went to the desperate measures you went to make sure you secured me because it, yeah, all y'all had an agenda. And like I said, this, this, this brother of y'all, he don't know. So every time he come around with the guys and I'm around, I hang for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I, I mob on off, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? That's a form of positive prayer in the pandemic. Because one thing is your two things was certain. You, you have to learn how to observe everything and what's going on. You analyzing everything. So at some point, he going to realize, man, bro right there, got some authority. I done heard brother him talk about, dude. You know what I'm saying? He cool. Bro laid back. All the guy, ain't nobody said nothing negative about, bro. But then he going to come to the conclusion of, man, bro, bro don't never really pull up. And, you know what I'm saying? No, because I done seen this process at this point so many times. And y'all never. Survive. Get what? He come pull up on me one day. Hey, Joe T. Joe T. Man, what you got going on, bro? Let me holler at you real. Oh, come on. Come on in, my guy. I ain't going to deny him at the door. I ain't going to deny him at the door. He pop. 
We walk on in, bless and say, man, what you got going on? She man, I ain't doing nothing, man. I'm just cool. Man, bro, you know about man, bro, you be chilling with the folk, but then again, you don't be chilling with the folk. Uh, hold on, we got this. We're gonna have to check him at the door. What you what you mean? What you mean, G Man, you know where he's had, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, man, bro, you know what I'm saying? I listen, <laughs> before I came to the penitentiary, that's that's who I was. Listen, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I do what I do with me, you know what I'm saying? When I hang with the guy, I hang with the guy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you this, you, you need to get this understood, you know what I'm saying, before you go any further, you know what I'm saying? My person, my business is my business. <laughs> And my business ain't got nothing to do with uh, GD business. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you that now. Don't let your personal business get mixed up. When, the way I move and what I do ain't got nothing to do with GD. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the brothers there know, you know what I'm saying? They come and ask me, well, what's up? What, what, you, what you got going on? Man, I was just going to be, I was just going to ask you a couple questions. You know what I'm saying? Man, what you, what you, what you think? What, what I think about what? Now I got to be careful with this little brother because he might be a little ignorant. You know what I'm saying? He might, I might say something. He might go off and get to talking to another brother. Man. Yeah, bro, I was in there talking to Joe T, man, and I don't even know Joe T, really. You know what I'm saying? He, he I was in there asking uh, uh, questions about the business, you know what I'm saying, about the guy, and it sounds like Joe T I ain't really, you know what I'm saying, to the world blow. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro, what's making me feel like, what you, what, what, what's up? Man, I'm just saying, what's it? Man, anything, you know, anything, anything, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know, you you go, you finna find out. <laughs> you about to find out, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm just chill. Well, bro, you know what I'm saying? How long you been to see her <laughs> Man, what you what you got going on, bro? He asked not leave weird questions. Like somebody done sent him up in here. I ain't tripping, though. I ain't tripping because I'm going to play my hand how it need to be played because I promise you right now, penitentiary rules. Is in effect, and then it finally comes to oh yeah 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 bro oh man I was gonna ask cause they come they came told me to holler at you you know what I'm saying about you know what I'm saying I was trying to get trying to get my cousin moved over here you know what I'm saying he'll he'll cross the street you know what I'm saying because you got four units you got one then you got one that's across so you go outside it's right across so he said he'll cross the street and then you got two units at the bottom and then if you was at the bottom they probably would have said the same thing he'll cross the street versus saying he at the top of the hill. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm like, who? I'm like, who is it? He say the name. I'm familiar with the name. He fine. This this is white little. And so as soon as he say that, because you know what I'm saying, I know he been studying the literature, whoever grooming him, whoever, you know what I'm saying, getting him right and teaching him and teaching him the 12. You don't know what the 12 is, they let me know you ain't never been affiliated. And if you ain't never been affiliated, I advise you to never become affiliated. Listen to me. So I, I know what's going on. I said, oh, you I said, bro, I said, how many brothers in here right now, bro? He said, man, oh, 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 nine, nine, nine. Brother them just went to the hole. We had a lemon in here. We had a lemon in here. So he he off the top. He he wanna show me he familiar. He he been paying attention, right? Yeah, we got we got nine brothers in here right now. You know what I'm saying? Out there in 13 crips, you know what I'm saying? And then he get the name and all the crips and this, this, and that, what they is, and what they then he go, then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Vice Lord, you know, the Vice Lord, uh 55 or 55, 55, 55, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what 55 is, and let me know you ain't never been feeling it. Being a bit of feeling that bad. You never. <laughs> but gonna feel like he was like, yeah, 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 it's oh, 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 oh. it's twelve of them right now. I said exactly. He said, what you talking about, bro? I said, bro, you just said there's nine guys in here, bro, and you want to move, like, man, that my cousin Joe T. Soon as he say that, it was. I said, I said man, sit down real good, bro. I said, bro, listen, you probably don't even want to do that, bro. I don't think it's, he was like, man, why not, man, my cousin, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mama, you know what I'm saying, my auntie, that, you know what I'm saying? When I be getting on the blue box, you know what I'm saying? She has a phone for me whenever, you know what I'm saying? Do three ways for me and that, that's another thing they're going to pray on you too. They're going to see you on that blue box, I'll tell you what they're going to do. Hey, hey, hey. What you say? Call my girl real quick. Auntie. They gonna go on back. <laughs> listen, listen. So he telling me, yeah, at my auntie, you know what I'm saying? And she was just saying, you know, she she would feel better, you know what I'm saying? If we was inside, and they just told me to come out at you, you know what I'm saying? They said, I said, ah, no, 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 I can't bust that move for you. I said, but listen, 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 listen. You probably don't want to do that, bro. You move your cousin over here. I done seen this, you know what I'm saying? You move your cousin over here, and something go left. You gonna have to, you know, man. What you talking about, man? Listen, bro. You don't want to have you listen. When I first got here, when I first got here, my child partner, we ain't even blood related. We ain't even blood related, bro. It's a little bit after, you know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't even hear three, four months. He was across the hallway. He got into he 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 was he was he was on watch for rolling sixty. You know what I'm saying? He get into it with this forty. You know what I'm saying? What what was he from? Lebanon, uh 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 big big uh 
Oh, they got them Big Four there. I think I can't, I can't remember. Big Four there, whatever. But I know Big Four there. Big Four there. Big Four there got. If you in eleven, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Big light skin. You know what I'm saying? He he protruding in the back. You know what I'm saying? And he he got caught with that dog food about a year or two ago. Him and him and some gal. He wasn't even out long. You know what I'm saying? He came home. If you from Lebanon, y'all know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but <laughs> but anyway, he was warm up there putting that putting that putting that sack. Putting that pack in the, in the middle of his body, right? He putting that pack in the middle of his body, you know what I'm saying? So he was going up there striking. You know what I'm saying? He was going up there striking. You don't know what striking is, then let me know you ain't never been to the VG. If you don't know what the VG is and you don't know what striking is, then let me know you ain't never been to the penitentiary. If you ain't never been to the penitentiary, listen, I advise you to kneel. Go to the go to the penitentiary. <laughs> but look, check this out. So my job partner get into it with dude. They come in our pod. He come in my pod to fight him. Get what the G told me. You can't do nothing about that, Joe T. I got to sit here and watch if anything go wrong with, even though we ain't blood related, somebody that I've been knowing my entire life. I know his mama, grandmama, brothers. I know his cousins. I'm cool with his people. Literally, did, grew up around the corner from me on Card Circle. I remember when he won his first car at the Dice, at the dice Game from Cadillac. <laughs> He had to give him the key to the Chevy right then and there. And the, re the reason I remember the Chevy is because he used to wake up the whole project every morning because he was so excited about driving a loud, busted box Chevy to school that he wanted the dice game. The man that had no tags or nothing. He man, listen, stole some tags. I remember the box Chevy like yesterday. Looked like they had been they had sanded it down like it was getting ready to get painted. Listen, he loved that Chevy to death. This man come over here, the folks told me, and I still, it just so happened, one of the guys tried to tell them, man, I, I ain't get a chance to tell him, but he really told me, so I, I'm trying to explain this, bro, if I was you, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, because, man, that's this school, man, I ain't going to worry about it, he, he mob on now, get what he do, this man bust this move, however they bust the move, he get his cousin moved into the unit, his cousin vice lord. His cousin been gone for a little. His cousin been locked up a little longer than him. He done, he got he, he might got some years on his belt. He fresh in the penitentiary. And, and and these dudes who come in the penitentiary fresh, they just like a lot of young people out here who think they know everything. They think they mature and, and you and you not. Just because you done got in trouble, bro, or you done hung with some people that's affiliated, you done hung with some people with some money. Listen, that don't mean you equipped to do time. I done seen plenty of dudes come in and feel like because they were somebody and come in here and get jumped out <laughs> or, or, or they start dropping pig in these boys back or them boys dropping pig in they back. They end up on PC or they just come in and they realize that they do it and they come in and be square as ever out the way. Next thing you know, they read the word. I ain't saying ain't nothing. I ain't saying something wrong with reading the word. But what you realize is what you thought you was on the streets. When you come in here, you come to the conclusion that this really ain't what you want to do. So you know what? And the Bible says in James in James chapter 1, verses 2 through 8, and it says, when you go through trials and tribulations, he said to seek, he said to ask for wisdom. He said, because he because he gives it to anyone who asks him without reproach. And when the words say that in James chapter 2 through 8, that when you go through trials and tribulations, you're supposed to go and ask, and he's going to give you the wisdom that you're seeking, and he's going to give it to you without reproach. That means he's going to give it to you without sinking his teeth in you. You know how humans be how human beings do you, how they sit back and they want to hit you with the I told you so when you're going through something and they probably done hit you with a little something before he went through it and then when you come and holler at them and you explain to something, you trying to get you trying to get some information on you, do and then they be like, see that's what I try to tell you, that he going to give it to you without sinking his teeth in you because it's, it's certain things that's already in your in your spirit, in your, in your nature that's going to allow you to have the wisdom that you need, some of us just turn the blind eye to it and we still end up in situations that we don't want to be in and then you start going through these trials and tribulations with your finances, maybe with your relationship, your friend, your job, whatever it is, life in general. I don't know what the case may be. And sometimes you, you get to the point of where you, you some of us be scared to go to the most high, just like uh, children scared to go to their parents because they already know I told you. And see, and it said that the most high give it to you without <laughs> reproach. But look, check this out. That, that was a commercial break, me please. I just, I just had figured I'd drop that on you real quick. So if you listen to it, you got something from me. Hey, it is what it is. Hey, it is what it is. So look, check this out. He bust his move. Still get this dude moved over the right. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's on you, buddy. We sitting in the cell chilling one day. 
It's a brother in here. Matter of fact, I'm going to call him instigator folk. That's what he like to do. He like to instigate. Instigate folk. That, that's his name. And I, I, matter of fact, I'm going to say his real name. Black Jane. Black Jane. BJ. Yeah, he was my city. And, and when he snore, he snore, he, he sound like a lawnmower. That's the reason I had to get out of it. Mean, the man was so loud, you can hear you can hear him through the wall. You can hear him through the wall. And so we all sitting in the cell. We sitting in the cell, you know what I'm saying? We, we just politicking, you know what I'm saying? A couple brothers in there cracking jokes or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We doing what we normally, we, we doing time. We doing time, you know what I'm saying? We doing time. And all of a sudden, dramatic effect me, please. Same thing instigate folk did to me, he did to the young brother. At one point, I was going to visit. Y'all don't hear me say this before. And I had moved one of my cousins in the unit with me. He don't know his gal coming to see me. I done told instigate folk. We all sit in the zip. We having a conversation. I'm talking to them. They talking back. We converse. We having a whole little conversation. They called me to come to visit. I'm already paying attention to friends. You know what I'm saying? Smelling good. I got my ishi me out of on and all that. You know what I'm saying? And cuz say, who coming to see you? I tell him he didn't know. Instigate for how? I'll go on tell him, Joe T. Go on tell him. I done said, because he, he played too much. And he tell cuz who come to see me. Me and cuz ain't been cool to this day. To this day, we ain't cool. We we still ain't. We, man, we still. He beefing with me. I ain't beefing with him. Because I, I don't do no beefing. I'm too grown to beef. I'm 35. I'm going to be 36 in December. But I, I ain't got no, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. Anything. Anything. But look, check this out. So we sitting in the cell and instigate for. Just out of the blue, started telling the story. He was like, man, I remember bro, down in South Central. When South Central was really the Thunderdome, you know what I'm saying? And he beat, he real big, you know, he he kind of husky. He short. He ain't got the, he short, you know what I'm saying? Real stocky, you know what I'm saying? He got them little, he got, he got T-Rex arms a little bit. He got them little small T-Rex arms. So, when he working out and he and his traps come out, he sit he's sitting up there, he walk around, he walk around acting like he bigger than what he really is. He, he had them he had them black he, he from the Ville, if you if you know, he from the Ville, he, he had he had a couple of goals in the mouth. He hadn't been on match security too long. This is the same brother that put me in the six minute violation. And and and, 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 I, and I caught him coming out the shower and it, it all stemmed from me catching him going to the shower without walking in his shower shoes and when he come out I hit him with the same thing he taught me. Hey, what you please for? What you mean, what I please, yo, see? What you please, bro? You just said, I just think I didn't, I just seen you walking to the shower without the shower. Man, come on, bro, it ain't nobody to rock. What you please, folk? You, oh, you want me to wait for folk to get back from the shower and call an OD and so I can let them know I just seen you walking to the shower without the shower shoes on. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no big ass little you. What, what you believe, folk? What you gonna give me, bro? How you gonna pay that box? It was either 75 or 100. That was up. Run that, Joe T. Even when he say that, I already understood that this, this gonna come full circle. This gonna come full circle. So, so we said, he was, man, bro, I remember, man, I was in South Central, right? And one of the guys, you know what I'm saying? One of the guys, you know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh had, 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 had a cousin, you know what I'm saying? That he, that he had moved in the park, right? All the guys just kind of, I looked at funny folk, funny folk. He said, man, you know. I remember, man, it would get ready to pop, it had popped off, you know what I'm saying, between the two, you know what I'm saying, and the guys, and the guys had pulled up on him and, and asked him, you know what I'm saying, bro, you know, if it go down, you know what I'm saying, you know you're going to have to ride, right? And everybody just kept, I'm still looking in front of him, you know he's going to have to ride, and he's like, the brother said, and then the brother said him, you know, you ain't really just got, you ain't got a stick on your family or nothing, but I'm just saying if it go down and you and your cousin, you know what I'm saying, y'all gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, how you feeling about that, folks? And he said, man, the brother was like, man, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying, this is what I signed up for. This is what I signed up for, you know what I'm saying? It just so happened, it, it, it did, it, it popped off, you know what I'm saying? And his cousin, his cousin, so happened, had to ride on him, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know, you just never know, you know what I'm saying, what you, and, and, and the little brother just looking up, he peeping what's going on. He realizing what's going on. Instigate folk really, he probably, I don't know if he was telling the truth or not, but he really was preparing bro, for, for a conversation because this is a part of grooming. And this, and this is a part of he praying on him too because he he want to, he wanna, depending on what this brother going to finna say, how he going to respond, he's going to use that later on down the line. I don't care if we play a domino spade out on the big yard, something pop off. Man, bro, I don't remember, bro, I don't, you ain't even going to write, if something pop off right now, bro, you will, you will let your family stab me in the back. I'm 
Hey, listen, everything got an angle. Penitentiary rules is in effect. Get what the little brother saying. Shoot, I'm right. What? Hook, line, and sinker. Come here. Hey, come here. He he was he was that little fish down there in the water, and that little rubber that little rubber thing came down there, and he got to looking at. It. Snatched it. He said, "Oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forget you. You don't move your cousin here. You don't move five here. You don't move. Yeah, you and you and cousin. You know what I'm saying? I be saying, yeah, man. You know me and cousin. It's like so. So if if we got into it with the vice lord, G, be be real, G. Be real, G. Be real, G. Everybody just look. If we get into it with the vice lord, and you got a you you riding you right? Shoot, bro. I'm, I'm riding, bro. Let's say I'm going to the world blow." That ain't even got nothing to do with what's going on now. What is he talking about? He talking about I'm, I'm Ryan G. I'm Ryan G. He said he said put that on put that on the ball. <laughs> Why he got him putting it on the ball, sir? That's on the ball, G. That's on that's on the big G. That's on the big G, bro. I'm, I'm Ryan, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The guy done showed me plenty of little guy done. He one of them dudes who came in, seen the guys eating together. Seeing the guys come together with the festivities and playing dominoes and spades and, and having competitions and, you know, because we used to fix bags and whoever win the, the domino bag, the, the, I mean, the dominoes, they win this and win that. He's seeing brothers work out together. And, hey, hey, bro, he's seeing all the kindness. He's seeing all the kindness. He ain't sitting in the cell and, you know, they sitting there, they chilling, and then you walk out to, yeah, I don't know, bro, bro, I ain't mean. Bro, I ain't really just feeling, bro, like it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, really, bro, really shouldn't even been the building, man. You know what I'm saying? We was down there the other day, man. It was a crib down there talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? And he was just, he ain't even really just respond the way he's supposed to. It was embarrassing himself. So I just pulled him to the side. I'm like, man, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't, I wasn't even finna keep on listening to it, man. Bro, really, he don't know that these, these real conversations that's going on. And this man done sit here. Put this on the hammer, thinking anything, anything, anything ain't anything in here, bro. What's wrong with you? This man done sit here, ran a whole story down to you to, to hook, line, and sinker you, and either sit here and went for it. That was up. Keep on being in the yard you want to. Get what? A couple of weeks go back. It don't take long in the penitentiary. A debt, somebody saying something out of place, or the, the, nudging somebody the wrong way. Somebody probably didn't make parole. Somebody probably ain't had no swag. Somebody probably can't can't afford no narcotics. Something. It's just like when the summertime hit. Penitentiary just go crazy. You just never know what's going on. We get into it with the vine laws. <laughs> we on high alert. They call the OD. They call the OD. I come here and say, man, bless you, say, what y'all got going on, G? What's up, G? You know what I'm saying? Oh, bro, we just in here, you know what I'm saying? We just discussed, you know, my uh, bro had a little incident with the vice lords, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, uh, we ain't, uh, we ain't brought that to a head yet, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, we just letting, we just letting all the brothers know, you know what I'm saying? We on high alert, you know what I'm saying? With the 55 and this, this and that, and we, and they running down and everything. Whole time, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm peeping, the, I'm peeping the little brother. I'm just, mm, what he gonna do? Mm. Yeah, what he do? Panic? Because, he done already said he gonna rap. So he thinking in his mind, his cousin, listen to me, is, is, is more important than the org. See, in the way they train you and, 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 and put this in you, instill this in you, is the same way when the words say, don't know, don't nothing come before him. No other entity, no other man, no anything. It, you, you don't put nothing over him, your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your cousin, don't nothing. Just like when the man died and he was, he was like, man, let me go off and bury. He said, let the dead bury the dead. It, it, what, what, what we doing right now is kingdom. And, 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 and then we're going to do the kingdom before we tend to that. Just like when they came to the door, pop, 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 said, your mama and your brother is outside. He said, who is my mama and my brother? Because listen to me, if my mama and my brother don't do the will of my father, like what I'm into, then they not my mama and my brother. What he came, what what the king understood was, I'm gonna handle the business first before anything. And this this is what he ain't understanding. At this point, the org come before your family, the one you slept in the bed with, the 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 one you went to the candy lady with. 
the one, the one, the one you were doing. Uh, uh, I don't want to say the word, the N word, knock and run off. The the same one, the first time you got in trouble with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same, the same cuz the first time y'all ran a train. First time you you yeah, the first cuz you know what I'm saying probably front you your pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's over. The oil come before. All that. Either you're gonna take care of the business or you're gonna become the business. Penitential rules is in effect. This man thinking, man, I'm finna go tell my cousin. This man go tell his cousin, man, cuz, you know, man, bro, brother just had an OD tell me such and such and such and such, man, and such and such. And he, he, not only do he tell him some of the stuff that was said in the meeting, which was going to get him eradicated, sent to the back, you don't know what eradication is. You, you know the rest of it. Yeah, because when that come out, they're they going to show you that, you, you yeah, you can get that. He also tell him, man, then, you know, they talking about... Now, I told you, this dude been locked up for a minute. This is prison politics. This man know I his cousin could easily go holler at one of the guys. Yeah, my cousin ain't even on all that. I holler at cousin, cousin was telling me. And one of the guys could be like, you what you what you what you uh you wanna holler at your cousin? Yeah, man, I was telling cousin, you know, cause brother them talking about and they talking about, you know what I'm saying, we on high alert. Cub was saying if I had them really ain't even what you going and discussing that with them for? You ain't got no business discussing that with them. So, so get what? You ain't got no business discussing that with them. You, you don't, you don't violate it. You don't violate it. So at that point, you, you in some trouble, my guy. You, you in some trouble. So this brother five go back and highlight his people. Guess what? Guess what his his people want to do. His people decide this is war in the penitentiary. What we going to do is we're going to go holler at the head. And the head, we're going to discuss some things. Because they, it's hostility. It don't necessarily mean that it's going to pop off. So the way they going to run it is the little brother made it like as if they getting ready to devise a plan. It's, it's, some, it's some strategizing going on as if this is going to pop off and clash. This is going to clash. So they go and holler at the head, and the head say, oh, no, nah, I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, give us the name of the brother. Give us the name of the, give us, give us. matter of fact, I can, I remember exactly how they got into it. It was a, a dude who come off the town who had, he, whatever he got charged with, he had robbed one of the guys and shot the guy. But the guy lived. He come in, what I came he might have got into a one guy, but I remember it was a it was a vice lord that came in who had did something to a G. And whatever he came in, maybe he had, had some weird one. And that's 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 what a so he bring that up and the guy's thinking, you know, maybe it's gonna go down. So when they go and holler at the head, they explain it to the head, man, bro ain't even known that. And he telling them, man, I'm gonna go holler at the guy, but do me a favor. Tell me who told you that. So of course, find them going to do it. This is this is war. This is war. This is mental war. This is penitentiary war. This is p political war. This is this is war. This is, this is penitentiary rules in effect. Then they don't care and then get what the cousin do. The cousin feel a little guilty, feel some type of way. So the cousin thinking, man, let me try to go get ahead of this and warn cuz that I done told brother them and brother them go, went to holler at the folk. So while this is going on, folk them finna make a call. His cousin go back and holler at him and tell him, man, cuz, I don't, man, I don't, and he like, what you, what you mean you done? And at this point, cuz realizing you, 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 you really got crossed out by your own people. I mean, see, what you ain't understanding is that, that he understand that the organization come before the blood. And, and, and he covering his own tracks and then he trying to cover him up. Covering them, covering them again with you. So he telling Cub, man, Cub, I done seen situations like this. He telling his cousin to check in. Man, cuz you probably need to, man, brother, him, I don't know what, you know what I'm saying? Cuz you probably need to. He sprang on the little brother. The little brother sprang on five. The brother sprang on five. When he sprang on five, five up the butcher. When five up the butcher, he was, man, cuz, you ain't gonna make me do the cuz, it's going to go. They get to tussling over the knife. It wasn't nothing serious, but the brother end up getting the brother end up getting poked 
Police catch it. What's going on? They call the code. Both of them go to the hole. And guess what? The little brother stayed back though. Penitentiary rules is in effect. Because listen, you already know. If you come back to the compound, all that being friendly, all that you broke bread, you was willing to ride, you done hung with the guys, you done ate with the guys, you done worked out with the guys. Listen to me. You done, listen, you done served violation for the guys. You have been paying your dues. You have been doing everything you supposed to do. Let me explain something to you when you affiliated. You can do everything. You can do a hundred things right. Let's say it like this. You can do 99 things. Absolutely correct. Be on point. Be a soldier. You can get out of line one time and you're done. Your, your history ain't gonna matter. I seen the heads who was the heads for years and did and, and served a bogus violation to the wrong one and get pushed to PC. Your credentials ain't gonna matter. Who you know ain't gonna matter. Man, you thinking, man, I know brother them ain't gonna, brother them gonna do it to you because they ain't gonna have no choice because you either gonna take care of them or you gonna put it in the comment section. <laughs> oh yeah, membership. I got y'all later on, I'm gonna drop another one.